Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to talk about the shooters. So the Tudors stars Jonathan Rhys Myers as King Henry VIII, the one that was had um, basically every other wife um, beheaded. Um, he had six wives, and the show aired on Showtime, and um, it was it's one of the best historical shows. Um, it also stars Henry Cavill. Um, amazing and it really is it's not even just one of the best historical shows it's one of the best shows and the acting really really took it to another level the story was excellent um, it's sad that it only lasted four seasons but they covered a lot of ground and it's a shame that they didn't continue like they should have done like four seasons of each monarch within the Tudor dynasty instead of just King Henry VIII and him and his wives and that's great and everything the show was excellent but they could have done so much more with it just like the show Rain but Rain was more historical fiction than the Tudors was so, <clears throat> both shows lasted four seasons, but sh both shows were excellent shows. Um, <clears throat> they could have done so much more with it, they should have. And um, when I see other people playing King Henry VIII, I just don't see anybody else other than, the, the, other than Jonathan Rhys Myers. He's an excellent actor, and he really was top notch. He took his acting to a whole nother level with the show and um, yeah it, it was excellent um, like the acting was excellent the pacing the direction the story um, the wardrobes was it was absolutely stunning um, and I like how they they really didn't have boundaries for the show. It it really it really was brutal and it was out there. So um you can check it out on Netflix actually. Unless Netflix took it down, but I'm pretty sure that it's still on Netflix. The the four seasons are um each season I think is like eight episodes long or something like that. <clears throat> And it doesn't seem like it. it seems like a lot more because they fit so much into each episode um, that it doesn't seem like it's only that each season is only eight episodes long. Uh, yeah, they did pretty excellent with this. Um, the same creator that did uh, the Tudors also did. Elizabeth the Golden Age and the Elizabeth movie before that with Kate Blanchett in it. So um, this creator, Michael Hurst, he's great with historical drama and he should definitely make more because he, he really is he really is excellent at it. So not to be confused with Michael Hurst that played for Aeolus and Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. Um, one is spelled with a U, this one is spelled with an I. Um, H-I-R-S-T. But anyway, um, yeah, and it has the woman that played for Julia Niptuck, that plays for his final wife. Um, it has uh, Natalie Dorman, I think is what her name is. Anyway, she also plays on the Game of Thrones. And, um, uh, the Hunger Games series, the last two. Um, and The Forest, I think. Yep. So, 
yeah, and she she played for Anne Boleyn in this series, and she was excellent. I mean, her portrayal of Anne Boleyn was was excellent. I think everybody did an excellent job in the show. Um, I love Jane Seymour in um, the sh her portrayal in the show. Uh, I felt really bad for Catherine Howard. But again, it's sad. History is depressing and sad. <laughs> but it was it was what it is. Um, and I loved how they showed um, how it started with Hen King Henry the Eighth and um, his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, and they had a daughter, and it showed like you know their them trying to set up matching for their like that's how it was back then as they were betrothed to people so and they were trying to do that with their daughter back then who ended up being bloody mary mary tudor um who ended up being legitimately the first queen of england uh and she was ruthless and she was not anything like she was ruthless like her dad but she was not anything like her, either of her parents she was just a whack job she was she was way more of a tyrant than her dad was um but she she had a lot of health issues like her dad did um but then of course you have uh, their brother that King Henry finally got with his um, third wife, Jean Seymour, and she died not too long after she had his son. Of course, King Henry went into a deep depression about that because he wanted a son more than anything. Ironically, his son didn't last long because of illness and the one that he most tried to uh, the one that he didn't want in power the most or that he thought of the least was Queen Elizabeth I mean they wrote back and forth to, you know together and stuff like that later on um, because by the age of like six, she had already known, like, she had already learned like six different languages. It was crazy. She was um, his most intelligent child, obviously, by far. And um, wherever he ended up, heaven or hell, he, I'm sure that he is most proud of Queen Elizabeth I of England, his daughter Elizabeth Tudor that he had with Anne Boleyn, his second wife. <clears throat> Which is crazy, because you would think that Queen Elizabeth, with the way that she is, like her personality and her demeanor, and the way that she ruled was kind of a mixture of King Henry and Catherine of Aragon, because she had kind of a mixture of the both. She she was she's just an excellent ruler um so yeah i can't talk enough about queen elizabeth the first she was an amazing ruler and they should have shown her more um in this series but you know it is what it is but they did an excellent job so i can't complain about anything other than they should have just like Rain, Rain is not only about Queen Mary of Scotland, so they should have continued that if they were tired of the Mary Stuart story, because there's so much potential it is Rain. They could have literally have went anywhere with... Um, 
They could have went anywhere with their stories. Because there's so much history into the world. Um, so many different um, regimes, so many different monarchs, so many different histories of, you know, the people around the world and stuff. So they didn't have to stay with just one. <clears throat> but anyway, getting off topic, like always, <laughs> um, check it out. The Tudors is amazing. And... Um, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite shows. And it has top-notch acting in it. And it's one of the best historical shows. So, in my opinion, at least. Uh, so, check it out. If you like my review, um, like, subscribe. Um, and... I can go on and on and on about talking about the Tudor dynasty. So um, until next time, guys, have a great day.